It went from eggs and cheese that turned into a chaffle that now turned into French toast. It's really, really f good. Welcome in to another edition of Smelly's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making some chaffles. These things are absolutely awesome, so it's imperative that you learn how to make these. All it is, we take eggs and we take cheese and we end up with these. We're just going to blend them in the blender right here. I'm going to throw some eggs in there. We got four eggs, two handfuls of cheese. Really simple to do. Crack the eggs open, cubbing, dump them in. I told a guy a long time ago. I was like, man, you want to be big, you got to eat some eggs. And he's like, can I throw them in a blender? And I said, yeah, you can throw them in some shakes and stuff. And the next day he came back to me and he said, man, that was super gritty. That was really weird tasting. I was like, yeah, raw eggs, like they can be kind of weird. And he's like, but it was really crunchy. And I was like, crunchy? I was like, did you throw the whole egg in there? And he was like, yup. That's when I realized I was forever attached to helping dumbasses throughout the rest of my life. So please, a little respect. <laughs> for I am Costanza, Lord of the Idiots. We're gonna dump in some cheese, two scoops, kabing, kabing. This should make a whole bed of chaffles. just because this is fun to do. There we go. Take this out. Gonna dump her in here. We're just gonna wait for this little button to light up right here. It's gonna say ready. And then I'm just gonna dump her in. The amazing thing about a chaffle is it is a no slash low carbohydrate food that is mainly just protein and fat. And then we get to kind of modulate it whatever way we want. Today we're focusing in a little bit more on something sweet. It's gonna be more of a breakfasty style thing. So we got some syrup, we have some salted caramel hydration we're gonna dump on there, along with some butter. All those flavors are gonna combine and just smack you right in the face and give you something nice and sweet. But you can also roll up a hot dog in here or you could uh, use the chaffle itself as a bun for a cheeseburger. Whatever your mind can kind of think of, whatever way you can uh, be creative with it, have fun with it. This thing is blue. Time to dump this in here. All right, we're gonna dump a little butter in there just to make sure stuff doesn't stick too much. Uh, or you can spray it. I always just spray it. Some people are like terrified of sprays and stuff, but I don't worry about any of that stuff. You only live once, you might as well die young, right? Wait, no, that doesn't sound good. Okay. We got a little butter in there. Plus it just looks better this way, right? There we go. That's gonna make it taste amazing. Swirl it around a little bit and just dump her in. Beep. Oh yeah, we're making some fucking chaffles. Close her down. And now we play the old waiting game. Some people may throw protein powder into this just to give it a different flavor. If you want it to go like vanilla, you want it to go chocolate. So that might be something you might want to try as well. All right. I ain't waiting any longer. We're going in. Sometimes if you make a little bit more, they might all come up as one thing. This guy didn't come up as one thing quite as, quite as much, but don't matter. And if these were like bready, then it might make sense to make them more like brownish, I think but in this case, I don't want to overcook eggs. And now we put on our fat guy thinking cap. We go back to our youth where we learn how to melt butter. You got to stack it, right? Get that butter underneath the other butter. You can never have too much butter. Pat some butter on top. Pat some butter all over the place. Get some butter over here, some butter over there. I'm more of just a butter guy, so like I would eat them just like that. I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't care to put anything else on them, but because I know that you guys have gas station taste buds, you want more flavors than that, so here we go. 
we're gonna throw on some salted caramel, give it a little salt, give it a little pap. We got some of this swerve stuff right here, which is like a powdery sugar. Ooh, got some of that guy on there, see how it comes out. There we go. Uh, cinnamon, you can dump on there if you want to. And then we have a little bit of syrup. There you go. Cool. That was ridiculous. It went from eggs and cheese that turned into a chaffle that now turned into French toast. It's really, really f good. Really good. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> I predict that he's gonna faint. Wow, that was very good. Not bad, huh? Not no, it tastes really good. There is how you make an amazing chaffle. Like I said earlier, be creative with it, make it whatever way that you want, make it to your taste buds, and try to make it through every single day the best way that you possibly can without overeating. I know it's not easy to do, but I'm trying to make it simple. I'm trying to make it easy for you. Come on, I know you can do it, you dumb bastards. All you gotta do is follow me. All you gotta do is follow Smelly's Kitchen. It sometimes is just that simple. Strength is never a weakness, weakness is never strength. Catch you guys later.